In this video, we're going to examine the requirements for electrical installations, more commonly referred to as the IET wiring regulations, or REGS. The aim of this training is to provide an understanding of the electrical safety principles and terminology used, as well as the layout of the publication, to enable users to confidently navigate to required sections and information. Some of the content of this video was produced with the introduction of the 17th edition of the wiring regulations. But since then, both the regs and this video have received updates. To help enable you to spot updated content, please keep an eye out for a green picture of the regs for Amendment 1, introduced in 2011, and a yellow picture of the book for Amendment 3. Be warned, however, that sometimes you may see a red copy of the book, identifying original content where no amendment has been required. First, for those of you undertaking a REGS course, we do have to cover a little bit of history. There have been requirements for safe electrical wiring since 1882, when the Society of Telegraph Engineers and of Electricians launched the first edition of the wiring regulations. Amazingly, this was just a single sheet of paper, which, with additions over the years, has grown into the book we're familiar with today, with several hundred pages and is a document covering all manner of electrical equipment and installations, ranging from the smallest domestic to the largest industrial. As well as growing in line with technology advancements and the principles of electrical safety, the regs have also grown due to harmonisation with European electrical requirements, so helping manufacturers produce equipment that will work right across Europe. In 1992, the wiring regulations became a British standard, BS 7671, which, although not a legal requirement, reinforced its role as the UK national standard for electrical installation work. The current version of the publication does provide a list of amendments and dates on the front cover, and a quick list of changes introduced with the most recent update inside. Before moving on, one word of warning. Whenever you're designing, installing, or verifying an installation, remember to always check any requirements in the publication itself, as within this program we will often have to shorten or generalise the information relayed. To help us explore the regs, we'll visit a number of different locations, and also get advice where appropriate from experts such as Tony Cable from NICEIC.